Google I.O. 2024 has officially kicked off and as we expected, we were bombarded with a ton of Gemini-focused features. Almost every product line has had some AI-powered addition from Android itself to Gmail to Gemini Advanced. The Gemini mobile app is getting some pretty major upgrades and we also saw some brand new initiatives announced at this year's conference, all of which we're gonna get into right now. Starting off, let's talk about one of the more exciting announcements first with the reveal of a new development from Google DeepMind with the code name Project Astra. This is a universal AI assistant capable of real-time reasoning and quick responses for everyday tasks. In the demo shown off at Google I.O., you can simply point your smartphone camera at your surroundings and ask questions about locations, objects, code, or handwritten diagrams. Project Astra could identify whole neighborhoods based on a few buildings, describe objects, or give knowledge on specific aspects of an object, like the tweeter of a speaker, for example, and even locate misplaced items items it sees during a session and tell you exactly where they were last seen all in real time. For me personally, I need more hands-on time to get a complete picture, but this demo offers a small insight into the future of Gemini, and hopefully we see this make its way to our devices in the near future. It's a bit hard to describe since it's such an interesting feature, but I encourage you to watch the demo for yourself. Link will be in the description. In other news, Google has announced that Gemini 1.5 Pro is finally getting an official release. If you've been watching the channel for a while, now then you remember me talking about it in mid-February. As a refresher, the most prominent advancement is the 1 million token context window that allows Gemini to analyze much longer sequences of information. In practical, real-life usage, that means Gemini Advanced can now process large documents up to 1,500 pages, summarize up to 100 emails, handle an hour of video content, or decipher code bases exceeding 30,000 lines of code. For those interested in trying out the new model, Gemini 1.5 Pro is launching today in over 150 countries and is available in over 35 languages. Alongside Gemini 1.5, extensions are getting a much needed expansion into other Google services like Google Calendar, Tasks, Keep, and will expand to a new category of items called utilities like the Clock app in the future. Additionally, YouTube Music finally has an official extension that's launching today where users can search for a song by mentioning a favorite verse or featured artist. All extensions will be available alongside the existing ones and will be free to Gemini and Gemini advanced users. Since we're on the topic of Gemini 1.5, it is worth noting the side panel for desktop in Gmail, Drive, and Docs is getting the upgrade to 1.5 with a full release scheduled for next month, but is rolling out to Workspace Labs users today. Some new improvements include a larger context window for more information to be analyzed. The side panel should be better at answering questions in regards to longer emails or drafting new messages that reference information from multiple docs or PDFs in your drive. If you're a Gemini advanced user, there were a few upgrades to be excited for. Quote, coming soon, users will be able to take advantage of a new feature called Immersive Planner. This feature will act almost like a virtual travel assistant by crafting custom itineraries geared towards your specific needs. And one of the examples shown off today, a user told Gemini they were going to Miami for Labor Day, their son loves art, their husband wants fresh seafood, then asked Gemini to pull flight and hotel info from Gmail to plan a weekend getaway. From there, Gemini will take flight timing, meal preferences, and local information into account, then will consider recommendations from search and tap into Google Maps to give you an itinerary. Gemini Advanced will also be getting a new feature called Gems, which is effectively a personal, customized Gemini Assistant. You can set this up pretty easily by giving a prompt describing the type of personality and response style you need. A good example given was telling Gemini that they're a running coach that needs to give a daily running plan with upbeat and motivational responses. A few more examples were telling Gemini that they're a sous chef, coding partner, gym buddy, etc. Personally, I think this is one of the more useful additions for everyday users, so I'm excited to try the feature out for myself, and this should be launching in the coming months, although I wanted to point out free users will only have access to a number of pre-made gems, while advanced users will be able to create their own. On the strictly mobile side of things, we did get a handful of new additions as well. The Gemini app is going to be receiving a new feature called Gemini Live, where users will be able to have a two-way conversation with Gemini, just like we see with the chat GPT mobile app. As a whole, the conversation flow is pretty natural, as you can speak at your own pace and also interrupt Gemini as it's replying to give more context. This feature should be launched in the coming months. However, down the line, you'll also be able to use Gemini Live with your phone camera, where 
you can have conversations based on what you can see around you. Google did discuss some of its plans to integrate Gemini deeper into the Android operating system. For starters, Gemini will soon appear as an overlay panel on top of your current application as opposed to opening a full screen interface like it does currently. That overlay will also keep the context of your screen's contents in mind in case you have any questions about what you're looking at. Taking things a step further, using this new Gemini interface in YouTube will show a ask this video button and will offer a similar prompt when opening the interface on a PDF. Finally, for our last few features, Gmail for mobile is getting a few new additions like Summarize built directly into the app interface, and more importantly, Gmail for mobile is getting a new Q&A function that takes summarization to the next level by allowing users to ask questions in regards to their entire inbox. Some of the most prominent examples include asking Gemini to compare roof repair bids from multiple email threads or get a recap of a discussion. Not to mention, Smart Reply and Smart Compose are getting some much needed upgrades, where Gemini can look into the entire context of an email thread and give in-depth suggestions as opposed to the one-line simple responses like we have today. Both of these features will be available in July for Workspace Labs users. As a whole, this is all the new Gemini-related announcements showcased on day one at Google I.O. I might have missed a few since there were so many features that were discussed, and I know there were a few I didn't cover like Gemini 1.5 Flash, and some new additions to Circle to Search. Thankfully, we do have quite a few articles on the 9to5 website covering everything new in regards to Gemini, and I will have links in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Overall, I'd say this is a huge week for those interested in Gemini, as almost every product category has gotten some kind of changes, so hopefully this video helps you keep track of everything new. Before we get out of here, huge shout out to all of our channel members on screen right now. Your support helps us cover all the Android news, like Google I.O., for example, and we are so grateful for every new and current member that joins our community. Thanks again for helping us make the best Android content we can. Of course, there's a lot more to cover, so I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.